back, folks, to Let's Play Dragon Slayer. Uh, we last left off. We were getting our ass kicked. That's what was basically it. So I gained a few levels. Um, I, gained, I got Logan to 29. He can now, um, well, not much difference, really. He does a little bit more damage. Um, I got Giles to 28. I think that's the really big difference. Um, so now each, each one can do Coma at least once. Uh, Sony can do it twice, at least. Um, yeah, I think I'm approaching the cap, though. I think there's only 30 levels you can go to. I could be wrong on this. But that's what I recall. Maybe we can get lucky on this round. God damn it. That's okay. Um... If, okay, you know, if Logan Cash could fucking hit them, you know, that would make things a little bit better, but no. Logan's a fucking slow motherfucker, apparently. Despite the fact that he has probably the best speed of all of them, even Giles. <laughs> and I just, I don't know. Because Ethan, fucking course, stupid fucking game. This game pisses me off sometimes. I guess that fell. That fell too. Just great. I don't even know why I try. I don't even know why I try. At least we can get them a little bit weakened, um, Power 4 and Logan. Maybe if we get that to do a little bit more, okay. Maybe I should give Sony a Power 4 as well. There goes Ethan. 773. So I don't know how many more battles are going to have to face after this too, so I could just end up at another wall because I don't have the, um, 34, alright. I wonder if I can do that. Can I? No. Nope, I can't do anything in the menu, so. God damn it. I fucking hate this game. Um, can't do anything on that front either, so I'm just, I'm fucked at this point. I'm just gonna have to get everyone at least to a certain decent health and hope I can just outlive them. That's basically what it comes down to, outliving these fucking people. I'm just gonna have to do this. And just hope they don't attack Logan too much and just fucking chip them away. It's that fucking repel blow too, that fucking pisses me off. Like even if I put them to sleep, they still repel the blows. Like, it's not something I can just make them stop doing. <laughs> or at least there, if there is a way, it's not apparent. <sighs> we just have to outlive them, basically. Um, just hope, hope I can do this. I don't know. Oh, shit. That is what hurts the most. It's when they do that shit. Oh, fucking Christ. It always returns here. I don't know why. I guess it's. Oh, I think it returns to the closest town, not the last town you were in. No, oh, it doesn't make sense because it says last town. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So, what do I do at this point? I guess I could get them on. I guess I can reach uh, the next level for this. Because everyone else is about to gain the level. Or at least Logan. No, no, I'm reading the wrong stats here. Never mind. At least Sony will gain a level. Doesn't really help much, but, you know, it's something. So. 
let's do one, two, three. One, two. Yeah, that worked. I don't know why I bothered with the strength at this point. <laughs> I probably should have been in luck. I don't know what luck does at this point, but I don't know. It's probably, it probably seemed like a better idea, though. I'm trying to think what the best way to go about this. Carcass, scalian, carcass, uh... If the magic dude's here, I might, might see if um, I can get Sonya Power 4 as well. Because that was one technique I remember that I used to do, um, which is basically have Sogan, uh, Sogan? <laughs> have Logan become a powerhouse and just have him just fucking damage, uh, damage all the creatures at that point by using Power 4. But I can't recall. Oh, good thing we dodged that one. So Lux's on our side on this one. All right, no effect. I'm thinking about um, safe states coming for this. I don't know if it would help, but okay, this is getting. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, no effect. See, I don't even know what... Why does it do it? Like, is it a magic thing? I, I, like, I don't understand. Is it just a, a percentage that just put on there randomly? I mean, I can understand it being that way because otherwise the spell would become very overpowered, but it's just... I can't predict it. I don't know what's... I just don't know. I don't even know if I can actually safe scum it. Like, I don't know if I can just. I should have. No, it wouldn't matter. Like, I didn't get any benefits from that situation either because I don't. Because I didn't kill anything, so I didn't get any experience. So it's just a waste of time for that one. Trying to think of better strategy for this. Um, the comb is the fastest way. If it hits, that's a big if. Uh, dodge it. Yes, I might do this. See if this works. I don't think I saved for this one. Uh, do it from there. Perfect. Now it's uh, which one was it? It's probably gonna have the same effect regardless of what I do. No effect. I don't think it's gonna ever change because I don't think it's that random. <laughs> no, not here. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. Just look at that. Everyone can't fucking pull it off here. I don't know what's the. It just seems such. A, like I don't know what's the. The uh, the seed for it. The randomization of it. Is it really random? Like it feels like everything's set to a failure state at this point. Because like it doesn't matter. It just doesn't fucking matter. Nothing fucking matters in this goddamn game because of that. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, I've used six of those. No, well, one, two, three, four, four, five. Uh, roughly five of comas. And they're all failing because of it. And there's no reason for it. It doesn't make sense. There's, like, there's no ex explanation about it. And this, um, the way they... And the, these battles are really not that random. It's really frustrating at times because of the. Like, like most 
RPG games where the battles can be a little bit unique in the fact that it's not pre predetermined, it's kind of rolled on the spot. This is not the case. This does not have that. When you, I don't know how it works, but you, you've probably seen it in the videos, but there's not a, it's not that random of a uh, situation. It's just, so I don't know how to really work around that. Everyone's gonna die at this point. I can't even get them to. If I, if I try it, how oh, do we have potions? I forgot to do that too. Great. Like, it's just. It's utter shit, and that's what it pretty much is. Now, it's my fault on the potion part. I could have got more potions, um. Other than that, it's just it's bullshit. I think I know what I might need to do, though. I may just have to. Nah, it's just gonna annoy me. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa! Three seventy-five. No, 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 because they're five hundred. Okay. Uh, I was thinking they're 50 cents, or not 50 cents, uh, 50 gold for that. But, god damn it, I'll sell. We bought a bunch of these. I think the elixir does both health and magic. That may help in the long run. Only got two of them. So I don't know. something to think about. Just stuck up on potions here. Uh, maybe this will be the saving grace if I use if I have two of the elixirs. Well maybe I have another one. I tend to hoard, um, no, just those, okay. So keep that in mind, I might be able to get past that third battle. Maybe. Uh, probably not, but we can try, we can try. Certainly try. But this definitely is the hardest part of this game so far. <laughs> so far this is a good, um, this is a good dungeon loop anyways. I cannot guarantee it's going to be very good on the um, on this part. Okay, let's going to do a save state here first. Because this might determine how I will approach this. Um, because if, as I've already said, there's no, there's no randomness so far. So if everyone's coma's gonna fail, I might as well conserve the magic until then. So everyone but Giles, I believe. So let's let's play let's play in the idea that this is predetermined. So let's have Logan or Ethan do power four uh, on Logan. She failed on the she failed both twice, I think. So let's not even do anything with her. Uh, let's just have her do that. Ah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to get her power 4, so I might do that too. Nope. Oh, no effect, so maybe not. Can he put in... No, he doesn't have any magic. Have her do this. No effect. Coma. See, I don't know what the randomization is then. Because it's obviously not, um. It's not. At, it may be at the start of the battle, but there's something that changes at some point. I just don't know what that is. Maybe that's something else we have to do, is uh, pretty much uh, make a one-sided battle. Can't 
can't even do that. Which is fine. I mean, it's not really that major of a deal. So far, so good. Okay. We can at least save state then. We may have to hoard on elixirs at this point. If this fails. Hold it. There's a terminal. Eureka, this card is like a key. Just put it in the slot. Well, that's nice. Good guess. Uh, yeah, let's go in there. Whoa, how sweet it is. Old books. The ancient script is difficult, but my specialty is reading old languages. Look, the pages are so dog-eared, but very interesting. It says, Welcome to Tower Aquarium. Or Aquarium. Yeah, Aquarium. Great writing, huh? What's in Aquarium? Maybe water things, but there's more. Ride the light elevator to the fifth floor. The future is now. No we're waiting in line. Immediate anti-gravity services. Service. This old language is so strange. I wonder if there's any other uh, any other clues around. There, this is an operating manual. Light elevator. Let me see. It talks about the control unit running on high frequency. Just press the side and it emits a tone and, and that kicks in light elevator. Control unit. Elevator. You got me, old man. This archaeology is uh, hard work. What? Archaeology's hard... No. Uh, not fear posers. Sweet. Here's a picture of the control unit. Chrome cylinder. Big deal. It's only a silver pipe. Dog tooth gallery. Hmm. It has another elevator. This gets more and more uh, fascinating every minute. I love this job. Are you okay, old man? Come on, lay back for a minute while I take care of that, that thing. All right, big and ugly. Let's see you chew on this. What the? Nice try, man child. I just love it when someone falls for that image casting trick. If you really wish to face me, you'll have to make your way to the top floor of this crystal tower where you'll find the real me. But since the control unit for the tower's elevator is currently in my hands here on the top floor, you won't be able to face me unless you can fly, of course. Let me put it another way. The situation is hopeless. Now return to the high and mighty minister and tell him I'll be coming after his hide soon. Can you stand, old fella? Yes. I don't know if this will help, but I've got a warp quill in my pouch. <laughs> Gosh, what a terrible voice acting is sometimes. Uh, Alright, so that's the trick. I need the control unit to get in. Do you think Gaius will hand it over if I ask nicely? <laughs> Not likely. Anyone have anyone have a better idea? <coughs> the kite, Isaac's kite. You never gain altitude, altitude to hit the top. Oh yeah, dumb idea. That manual said uh, Dog Tooth has an elevator too. Dog Tooth, Dog Tooth. Cylinder, silver pipe. Hmm. Eureka, the silver horn and wolf jaw. Dog tooth, wolf jaw. Dog tooth is in the wolf jaw, the silver pipe, or the silver horn is the pipe. What do you know about wolf jaw? There's a gallery hidden in the caverns there. Some old ruin from the past. Sweet digging, but closed off now. I know Big Giles manage it, manages it. You know Big Giles? Uh, but my days living in Gillian are, th are, are through. I left there years ago. It's my father. Dad, uh, don't you recognize my your own son? God, this is terrible. You grew up to be quite a scrapper, a scrapper boy. When did you leave Gillen? I didn't want to be a lowlife, so I ran from Gramps' gang. I only just saw him again, holding a princess for ransom. You may go to Wolfjaw to search for treasure. He sh never shuts up. I found the horn for him, but to know Gramps in his mind games. He expected me to stay and be the next Bandit King. That old swine. His, his uh, prized possession is a silver horn. When I was still knee-high to a grasshopper, he snuck off to hide uh, loot he stolen. He was digging in wolf jaw and found the ancient gallery. Inside was a silver horn, a relic from the distant past. He was jumping for joy with a sweet find and wanted to protect it from other thieves, so he set traps in Wolfjaw to foil grave robbers. After seeing those ruins, I decided to study archaeology. Archaeology. Now this gold car is the key for doors in the tower. 
You're inserting in those slots that those terminals and doors will open. Crush Gay is ripping to shreds. Alright. Keep finding gold on the floor, but alright. So we finally fucking got through that part. But it still leaves us to a situation where we couldn't really survive that tower <laughs> if we keep running into those. So we're gonna really have to learn how to move around. Or at least, um... Yeah, I think that's the only thing, because even if we try to max out our levels, it's not gonna be enough. Now the other idea is to um, get power 4 for Sonya and just kind of go that way. But even when they reflect the damage, it hurts like hell for Logan. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. We better run on this one. As far as all the references to terminals and all that, the the game does have um, kind of like a um, I'm trying to think of that one game. Uh, what is it called? Fantasy Star? I don't think that's right. Fantasy Zone. It's not Fantasy Zone. Fantasy... is it fantasy? I want to say... could it be Fantasy Star? Either way... <laughs> that one series that is very popular too for combining a mixture of fantasy and also um, uh, sci-fi. Almost like my magic too. Um, but um, basically there's this goes into the sec the sequel for this game, uh, where they, where spacemen will uh, travel and all this, but we're basically using advanced technology, and they're just treating it like primitive tools. <laughs> it's pretty much in that situation. Try to avoid things here. this room. Oh, that doesn't look good. I'm going to save on this one. Uh, that look like this is it. Oh, shit. No, no, no. We probably run. It's this room. Um, well, that's another benefit. We can run to like, like hell if we run into those uh, people. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Oh, Jesus Christ, Giles. <laughs> yeah, this looks like the room we just came from. Yeah. So it's not there. Oh shit, oh shit. Um, hmm. We didn't go here though. Or there. What's this? Where does this lead? I guess it's gonna be like a giant puzzle. Assuming we want to avoid those pits. Why won't this card work? Very Zelda sh Zelda sh Zelda sh Zelda shly whatever. Um, it's almost like Zelda in this sense. 
kind of have to find out where certain pits will fall into. Prince Lagan, <laughs> I just knew you'd come. Come on, Princess. Let's get out of here. But how? The door just open from this side. Let me have a look at the door. Gracious, there isn't even a card slot on this side. There's got to be a way out. Ha! We got you! Knew you'd be coming! Me very cunning! Rasa Naja will be proud! Oh my gosh. Uh, at least it's just the Doom Spectre. Holy shit. That's always like a 100% rate. I don't understand how this works. I'm so confused. Marcus, the gang's all here, huh? Good to see you made it so far. What's going on? Why are you with Isaac and Daniel? No reason, really. I met an old adventurer who told uh, me about Gleaming Tower, and I decided to come and check it out with uh, Marcus. Yeah, we were in sort of a kingdom we hooked up with Batman and Isaac. Oh my gosh. He's a real high flyer. <laughs> you let us take his kite for a spin. Ain't he the coolest? Good to see you all again. Does the tower shine because of the diamonds or the gold or... Which rock did you crawl out from, buddy? It shines because of the sunbeams bouncing off of it. Didn't I tell you? How many times did I tell you? What a waste of my time. Ain't nothing we can do about it. Perhaps our friend would uh, lend, us, lend us the kite so we can burn up the sky once more at a time. Hey, ace plan, Marcus. Let's do it up big time. Hold your horses. I haven't said yes yet. These are, guys are wasting my skin. Why don't we do them a favor and let them escort the princess home? Oh, shit. Hey, this lady is Princess Mika of Sorda's Kingdom. Would you escort the princess to Castle Havelock? Princess Mika? It's such an honor. Thank you, Isaac. Um, I've heard of your great inventions. Count on me with a warp ring. I can cruise anywhere. What do you say, guys? We gotta move it. Move if this is gonna work, you know. I'm feeling a little stressed out. What with what with what with everyone following me and all? Well, Marcus, she's all yours. You've got a fiend to hunt. No worries. We you've left her in the hands of an expert. Ready to go, your royalness? Give me all this hole. I want a bath. You mind, you mind your P's and Q's. Got it, Marcus. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I got it. But practice with your, what you preach. Eh, don't worry, God, Giles. I'll keep my eyes on the boy. Let's go to sort of good luck, Prince Logan. Well, that was cringeworthy. Um, yeah, we found the princess finally. So let's uh, let's have a save. It's actually, uh, do save on. Alright, we'll call this a video though. So thank you for watching, and um, I think next video, hopefully, we will be at the end of the chapter. We're coming close to the close now. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Goodbye.